hey everyone welcome back let's start with stitching of the frog if you are new here i would recommend you to watch the part one then follow this video before we start our channel is all about learning fashion design we make videos related to drafting sewing embroidery illustration design concept and lot more if you wish to learn from these topics do subscribe our channel so I hope you all are ready with the cut pieces. Let's start with taking the front bodice. I'm going to give the neckline shape with the help of draft. The same for the back bodice. That's done. Now let's start finishing the neckline. Place the right side of the lining facing towards you, then the front bodice wrong side facing towards you. Edges and pin them. We will be stitching at 1 4 inch seam allowance. One stitch, cut the extra fabric. Give notches and then turn it inside out. So we have finished iron it to give a neat finish. Do the same for the back, stitch at one foot seam allowance. Here it's done. So we finish with the necklines. Now let's attach them at the shoulders. Place right side facing each other. Watch carefully as I attach the shoulders. Lift only the lining up, hold both front and back main bodice and open it. So that the lining of front and back are together. I will pin them in place. And stitch it. And you can see it's beautifully finished. Now let's finish the side of this. Lift the main fabric of front, hold the lining of both back and front and I'm going to stitch only the lining. So the side line is stitched. Now take the main bodice fabric wrong side facing towards you and I'm going to stitch it at its side. Done with stitching, you can see the beautiful finish it has from inside also. After this, 
Let's start with the sleeves. Fold the sleeves and stitch at its side. Once stitched, press open the seams. I'm going to use 1 4th inch elastic here. So we need to make a tunnel for it. Place the elastic and fold the hem of the sleeves and hold it in place with the pin. Fold and pin the entire sleeve. We will be stitching at its edge. Just leave some space for to insert the elastic. I'm going to stop here, leaving space for elastic. Measure the arm round. It's seven and a half inch here. Leave about half inch and cut it. Insert the elastic through the tunnel. and join the elastic at the marked points and stitch either by hand or machine. Then close the tunnel. We are done with hem. Let's attach the rest of the sleeve. Take a string, measure the armhole. And cut the string. Let's gather the sleeve cap with the string by doing a zigzag stitch. Just pull the string for gathers. I'm pinning up the main bodice with lining so it's easy to attach the sleeves. Take the center of sleeve and place it at the shoulder. Right sides of bodice facing right side of sleeve. Pin them in place. Side seam of sleeves matching side seam of bodice. Adjust the gathers pin in place. Stitch at one foot seam allowance. Carefully stitch all the layers together.
So here the sleeves are done. Let's start with the circular skirt by finishing the hem first. I'm going to cut off any extra yarns coming out. I will be using a pico foot here. We have an entire video about this foot as it gives an excellent finish to the hem. This is one of my best foods. We finished the hem. Now let's bring out the lining. Since it is in two pieces, I will join it at the sides first. Then finish the hem. Same as main skirt with pico foot. Now let's start with the net skirt. For that first join the layers with circular skirt. So fold the layer and let's make the gathers with the string method. So the layer is ready with gathers. I'm going to join it with the circular skirt. Stitch them. Let's just take a break here. It was so fun stitching the gathers. Even my sewing machine was feeling like a princess. So back to work. Here I'm done with attaching the gathered layers onto the skirt and we will be making two of these skirts. So let's attach them to the bodice again, measure the waist with the yarn and I'm going to gather the skirt with it. So here's done, do the same for the second skirt and the lining. Okay, let's attach the lining first. Place the bodice wrong side facing towards you on the right side of the lining. Pin it in place and adjust the gathers. And stitch it so this is how it looks from inside keep it aside take the main skirt wrong side facing towards you 
then place two net skirts in the similar way on the top of main skirt adjust the gathers and pin them Now join it with the main bodice by placing right sides together. Pin them in place. Now stitch it. Once attached, I am going to attach an invisible zipper to it. I will cut about 2 inch at the waist to attach the zip. Now remove the lining as we will be attaching the zip on the main frock first. On the right side of the frock mark half inch till the opening. on both sides. Now let's prepare the zip. Notice the teeth of zip is bent inwards. We will make it flat by ironing it. You can see the difference between the two. Place the right side of the zip on the frock. Then turn one side. and pin it on the marked line. Match the starting points of the zip with the frock. Carefully match the zip with the line. I am marking the length of opening on the zip. Now stitch at the edge of zip teeth. 
I'm using an invisible zipper foot. You can use a regular foot also. Invisible zipper foot helps to hold the zip for me. So it's more easy to attach. See how the invisible zipper foot is holding the zip in its grooves. And I'm going to stitch exactly at its side. Zip is attached at one side. Always cross check if the stitching is done properly. Now let's attach the other side. Turn the frock inside out, wrong side facing towards you. It's the right side we will be attaching the zip. Place it on the right side marked line the teeth towards inside. Place it and pin it in place. Stitch at its edge, making sure to stitch beside the teeth. Same as we did before. So here I have stitched till the point. Always cross check the zip. It looks fine. Now let's close the zip completely from the base. For that, pull the zip out and stitch at its side to close the opening. Use a regular zipper foot and try to get as close as possible to the zip. Cut out the extra zip. In last step, place the lining on the zip. And do a slip stitch. When you make a stitch at the zip, make sure you don't let it show on the right side. Continue with slip stitch. And here it is. Doesn't it look neat from inside too? Now let's attach a belt to the frock. I usually place a measuring tape and tie it to get the idea on how long the belt needs to be. Here I'm using 72 inch. From the leftover satin fabric, I will be making a belt. Since I don't have enough fabric, there will be a joint. So the length is 72 inch and the width is around 4 inch. After making a joint, fold the fabric. I'm giving a slight shape to the belt by keeping the edges a bit wide. Leaving some open space, stitch the belt and give it a slant shape at the ends. Cut off extra fabric at the slant. Turn the belt inside out 
through the opening. After turning it, I have ironed it. To close the opening, do the slip stitch. I'm going to add this beautiful flowers and feathers on the belt. I have already made videos on how to make flowers and feathers. You can check them. I will leave the link in the description box. With the help of fabric glue, I will place them temporarily. And once satisfied with the arrangement, we'll stitch it in place. Now place the finished belt on the frock, hand stitch at the sides to join them. Don't let the stitches be visible at the right side. And that's it. You have just made a beautiful party wear frog all by yourself for your darling princess. Hope it was easy to follow. Do let me know if you have any doubts. And yes, you can share your project pictures with us. I would love to show your work in my videos. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until the next video. Bye.